Nicole Olson lived through tragedy and heartbreak of her own. She watched her husband, Chad Olson, get shot and killed in a Pasco County movie theater back in 2014. Then in February, a jury found the man who pulled the trigger not guilty. New tonight, we're hearing what's next for the widow as she tries to move forward. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler tells us what she now has planned. With her daughter Lexi at her side, Nicole Olson talked with excitement and joy about what she has planned. Our whole focus and the whole mission is to help other children that have been impacted by gun violence. Gun violence impacted Nicole and her daughter eight years ago in the Pasco County Movie Theater when retired police captain Curtis Reeves shot Chad Olson during an argument that started over texting during the previews. Olson was killed, but in February, a jury found that it was in self-defense and Reeves was not guilty on all charges. The outcome of the trial was just like the punch that knocked me out and it was just so unexpected and just justice was not served. But to make a positive out of her despair, Nicole is starting the Olson Family Foundation. The goal is to raise money to help children directly and indirectly affected by gun violence, providing medical assistance, counseling, and college tuition. As I was going through the last eight years, the one thing that impacted me the most was Lexi feeling all alone and telling me, why do I have to be so different from my friends? You know, why did this have to happen to me? And I had no one to reach out to, no one to connect her with, to share her experience so that she knew that she was not alone. There are no plans to appeal the verdict from criminal court, but Olson's attorney did tell me that a civil lawsuit against the movie theater where Chad Olson was killed has been settled. In Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.